previously on Life is Strange. All these girls have such big boobs. All right, let's continue. I gotta tell Warren about my fucking superpowers, man. I wonder what he's gonna say about it. Oh, Fuck this shit. Whoa. Ow, that hurt. Damn. I better rewind. <laughs> what? Uh, you need to get Alyssa, the fuck out of the way. If you insist, Max. Whoa, I'm a fucking superhero. That's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Did Yo, did that not impress Max, you? That was awesome. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That was awesome. Thank you. No problem. No All problem. Right. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. Bullies never around. change. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Alright, what's your problem, asshole? Zachary. You lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I fuck it. I didn't give a shit anyway. Alright, let's go to the parking lot. Yep. Oh, more drama. So don't think I'm blind. Oh my God. I see every asshole. Here Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh my God, take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. What a total dick. Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, fuck, I forget your name. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Hey. Hmm. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. No, 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 no. Evidence is much better. I feel like I'm messing up, but I... I feel like I'm making some right decisions. I want... Whoever's watching this to kind of... If you want to take part in it, tell me what you would have done in the situations that I found myself in. Would you have intervened? Would you have, uh... made fun of what the fucker faces? I don't know. Hey Warren, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, I was taking my sweet ass time, even though you've been waiting so long. Uh, Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. No, you're just trying to make me feel bad for. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there, and get a burger. Oh, truck. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. What? He's parked in the handicap zone? What an asshole. Uh, there's this chick over here. She seems kind of depressed. It's Juliet. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? <gasps> Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. Sorry about Zachary. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. Yeah, he's... he usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. You're waiting there for Here a while now. Max. As dicking around. Well, don't be so sad. Victoria's a bitch. Everyone hates her. Oh, missing person's poster. In case you haven't seen that already. Come uh, over here, please. God. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, hey. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. He's going for Check a hug, wheels. Man. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Yeah. 
No worries, though. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve <laughs> it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um, I've been busy. I don't, I don't think I did. Sorry. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, sounds fantastic. Uh, no fucking way. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Faster pussycat, kill kill. What is, the hell no, does that mean? No, I was mean? impressed you had faster pussycat, kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Uh, I'll talk to you. I mean, you seem like an affable kind of person. Also, I think that Victoria is gonna have a really sad and fucked up backstory regarding her parents or something. And all, all this shit that's happening, it's gonna be like, oh, you empathize with her. And then you'd be like, oh, but you made fun of her, you asshole. And I'm gonna be like, fuck, I regret that. But I can't rewind the entire episode. So I need to talk. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Who the fuck? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Uh oh You best tell me what you saw. Now. What Answer are you me, talking bitch. about? What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Uh, I could call the police. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Oh, fuck! He just headbutted hey, me. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Oh my god, I'm gonna leave him there? You punk asses! Out in there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Holy fuck, Warren got owned. Oh, it's a bobblehead? Hey. <laughs> Can't believe we just left him there. Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Oh, uh, After five thanks, years, Chloe. You're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Who are you? Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Are we friends? So, what did that freak want with you? Uh, hope I... <laughs> well, you fucking know. Uh, hopefully nothing, though. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. Yeah, we just left him You're not him the there. only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, I guess. I guess. It was cool, but 
I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At That's least you're true. still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Uh, of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. Good so you came Mark. back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Uh, give me a break, bitch. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I totally just spilled water all over my lap. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna have to go the rest of this episode with a with a wet crotch. Uh, also, blue hair. Love it. Good. Tattoos. Awesome. You're my kind of girl. What's her name? Chloe. Broken. Man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. Rewind time, step bitch. Douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Well. Welcome home, Max. It's good to be back, man. Thanks. Thanks for that. Your truck is fucking really... Hipstery. Ah, what a lovely... <gasps> 44! 44, it means double death in, Ch in Mandarin. Su su means death, death. Well, Come on in, the number four shy. in Chinese also nice. means death. Home, shit home. You know, they, they have a weird kind of language where certain things mean other things too like yeah whatever that's not a good sign double death house <laughs> look at this fucking room <laughs> everybody lies no exceptions my room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it it's cool at least we can chill out this isn't exactly my chill out zone my step fear makes sure of that come in and close the door Put on some music while I medicate. Medicate? You smoking the marijuanas? You smoking the marijuanas over there? Hey, you gonna share some of that or what? God damn it! Music, hi-fi. Let's have a you look. Won't play without any power. Right, power, power, power is over there. Power strip. Let's turn this on. Lovely. Oh, Christmas lights in October. Kind of a theme here. There's a box. Let's search this box. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Damn, that's Chloe? She looks kind of different. Alright. What an old school TV, man. Look at this hey, shit. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. It's kind of thing you play your Sega Saturn on. Laptop, desk, search. I think this junk swallowed her discs. What are we even doing? We're just snooping around her entire room right now. Laptop, let's use that. She looks super happy. Yeah. How many Facebook friends? <laughs> just smoking the herb. All right. It's a very incriminating photo that you have there. Uh, how do I... Oh, missing persons poster. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. You want to tell me about this girl... We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. You still medicating over there? God damn it, you haven't even offered me it yet. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Yeah, let's just Chloe go through totally her drawers. Changed her style. I barely recognized her. I know she's an anarchist now or something. What is this? What is this? What the Chloe was always suck. taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. 
She was that small? Shit life. Fuck me. Suck it. Oh my god. This girl has issues. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Beer and sodas. Hey. Hey, man. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Um... Party all night. Party all night. Not Little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. Hey. I know what a party is. I can smoke the marijuanas. So tell me. Well, I party all... Mm, I take photos. I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Totally. Wait, give me a second here. I need to actually... <laughs> I actually did spill water all over the place. <laughs> all right, so what's next? Hey, did you find the disc yet? Oh, right, yeah, I was supposed to put music on. Um, I did not find the disc. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Where does she keep her discs? Uh, what's this thing? Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. What is that? 3,000 bucks. Oh my god. Postcard, drawer, discs in here. We had such a blast drawing these together. Damn, it's pretty cool actually. These kids are too cool to be real. Um, box. Old cardboard boxes. Yep, let's search them. Maybe discs in here. <gasps> oh! Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Sorry, there's a report card over here though. Damn, Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When what? she cared. Oh gosh, was she still hanging about on campus for then? Uh, search his bag. What and am I even doing? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Yeah, don't. The closet. Can we open oh, this? Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Where the fuck are your discs, Chloe? Stop it's here, medicating. Max. Look a little harder. It's fucking tell me. In here. No, why would Chloe it be in totally here? Chloe totally changed yeah, her I style. Fell a little. <sighs> okay, where the fuck are these discs, man? Oh, there's a, oh, is there's a desk, of course. I think this junk swallowed her discs. What? No, it didn't. Use the laptop. She looks super happy. Yeah. Okay. Um. Trash can. Can't be in the Chloe's trash can, trash right? Overfloweth. What's in it? What's in the trash? Whoa! Who what is Chloe all this? Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets. She does love trouble. <laughs> Holy shit! There's a lot of parking tickets that you're not paying. Can we search this box then? Surely it's in here. It's the last place. Fucking yeah. Okay. Could have told me it was there, man. No, she's a lesbian. She loves this girl, right? And she's gone missing. There you go. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. You know, talk about it. I'm a good listener. It's Rachel Amber. So That's I'm... Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. <sighs> I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. 
Hmm. So... So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. <sighs> How do you know? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah, can you pass the doobie to the left now? God, you've been hogging that. You've been boogarting the, the, the joint hole, man. Come on, CD. Right, what a sad, sad situation this girl's in. Her dad's dead, her mom's fucking some sergeant guy. And you want to play sad music? Great. Ah. <sighs> No woman, no cry. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. <laughs> this kind of music is putting, putting me to sleep as I look at the sign that says I can't sleep there. God, just... I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Chloe just wants to blaze, man. I'm gonna leave her to blaze. Oh wow, look at this. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. Here I am. What's in here? <gasps> parents' room. Let's do some snooping. Oh this fucking! Is Chloe's parents' room. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Yeah, uh, let's do this. Open the window. Open. Wow, just in time. You see, this, this is what I find interesting, right? This small little event could have like massive consequences. Is, is, at least that's what I'm thinking is going to happen in this game. It's kind of like, oh. You just saved a, a bird, that's all. And then, butterfly effect, Aww. man. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Yeah, I'm sure. God, this music is sad, isn't it? What are these papers? Uh -oh. The prices are late on their bills. So, oh, so her mom still lives here, of course. Right. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Alright. You're somewhere. Well, thanks, bird. I saved your life. Hope you uh, enjoy the rest of it. Uh, don't go shitting in in the uh, These books have not bedroom, been touched please. since the last decade. I see why. What the hell's going on in that photo? Okay. Well, I'm completely lost now. I don't think I can enter any of these rooms really. Here's the bathroom. Stuff. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. Whoa, dark. I cannot see. Why don't we anything. turn the fucking light on then? God damn. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. Oh, fluoxetine? Never heard of it. Uh, please dispense with. Mm, God, antidepressants maybe? What's up here? I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Yeah. Of me. Hair dye blue. Not attention seeking at all, dyeing your hair blue. Well, stuff. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Alright, let's get out of here. Ugh. Is anyone home anyway? 